First log into Upwork, this is the screen that you will see when you are looking for jobs. Um, we can go ahead and start searching for jobs by typing in Word. For this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and type in the word WordPress and then hit enter so that it will pull up this screen. You've probably seen this screen before. So I want to walk through a couple of points about how to get the RSS feed out of here in a way that's meaningful to you. So you'll see first that there's uh, 17,000 jobs uh, for Word. WordPress, but we want to filter this down. So let's go ahead and start with a category. Um, this is the first stop that I do anytime that I am creating up an RSS feed is I really just want to focus it on the areas that I'm most interested in. So as I scroll down in here, we'll see that there's all sorts of different categories that we can go through. So let's go ahead and say that I want to go ahead and use oh, web and mobile development. That'll be the first filter that we put in there. The second filter that I always recommend using is experience level. I generally pick intermediate and expert um, because these are clients that are looking for someone beyond entry level. I ignore job type and I'll explain why in another video as well as number of proposals, client info, really all of these other filtering and the reason will become clear when I show you at the end. However, I do like client location and this is very important when you're doing an RSS feed uh, so that you can really make sure you're only getting jobs from countries you're interested in. So in this case, I'm just going to type in United States and we'll see that there is United States right here. We'll just go ahead into the country list and we'll see right now the list is now filtered up and so we have mobile and web development intermediate expert in the United States for WordPress. I generally look at these jobs that are coming up and you'll see there's about 516 of them from the 17,000 listed. If you like this that's great or if you want to refine it further I highly recommend using advanced search. Um, advanced search makes it easy to go ahead and continue to filter through so maybe you don't want things that include certain words so based on your own preferences but I like to keep it fairly open and I'll explain why when we get into Pouncer AI note about this US only this only affects this interface it does not affect the RSS feed so you must put in a state when you are going ahead and creating up your RSS feed so if you're happy with the jobs that are coming back on this and you like all your filters go ahead and click this symbol right here you'll be presented an option to get an RSS feed or an atom feed. You're going to want to go ahead and get RSS. Now you'll see that this is uh, not easily understood but it will be here shortly. The most important thing is to capture the URL. So you want to go ahead and click your mouse to get the URL and then select copy and now you're ready to add it to Pouncer AI. Inside of Pouncer AI you'll notice that we have a job feeds area. You can go ahead and add this RSS feed. Now I generally like to put in a meaningful description so I can type in WordPress US only uh, inter, um, intermediate and expert level. So just to give it something in there and now I'll go ahead and I will paste in that uh, feed, that URL that we got from over here. So I've got uh, the title in there, I've got the URL feed, now I'll go ahead and click add. So what's happening behind the scenes is we are grabbing all of this RSS information and adding it into the Pouncer AI system. Once it's done, you can go ahead and see jobs. So it is now loading up and you'll see right here that I have this RSS feed, the title that I put in. I can now go ahead and click on it and I'll see the first 30 jobs that came through based on my preferences. I can then use the job finder tool to do things like saving it for later, ignoring it, viewing details on Upwork, showing more, or of course generating a proposal which is the heart of the system. So that's the easy way of getting your RSS feeds into Pouncer AI. Just go into Upwork, find the uh, information you're looking for, then click the RSS feed from right here and then once that page loads copy it and then add it into the feeds inside of the tool and once done you can go into the jobs and now go ahead and start interacting with that data by just clicking on the name of the RSS feed and then being able to view everything about it using our interface. Hope this helps.